Hey guys, so today I'm going to be going through with you some basic speed conservation techniques used in tassing. Um, we're going to go through poles and text boxes. And text boxes include entities such as, uh, you know, Cooper, signs. I guess you can implement, but I'm not going to be working with signs uh, today. And of course, you know, doors are another common one. But we're going to start with uh, poles uh, because poles are one of you know the tricky ones as well i didn't start in the right file but that's okay i can change that over just a little later um so what i'm going to do real quick is i'm going to jump into the air and i'm going to hack in some speed because i don't want to actually do a legitimate blj so i'm just going to get like negative 1000 speed or something okay so what I've just quickly done is I jumped into the air uh, and hacked in negative 900 speed because I didn't really want to manually uh, do a BLJ and show off a proper demonstration because I really can't be bothered. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. I'm sure some of you will find a way to pull it off and then you can imp implement this. So basically what you end up doing is you know you fall into a tree or you somehow or, or a pole and you gain access to you know the pole climbing state just like I have now and what you're going to want to do is you want to go slide down and then two frames before you touch the ground you're going to press Z then you're going to increment a frame and then you're going to press B and you're going to do some uh, uh, you know different directions up here on your on your uh, input but that's, you know, a little bit more complicated off the bat. So Z then B is the important thing to initially learn. So we'll just do that real quick. So I'm actually going to, I'm going to zoom out. Uh, so I'm going to go down. So it's one, two, nope, one, two, three. There we go. So as you can see, I've taken off. Uh, if you don't use the Z button or the B button, if you just slide down like normally, uh, you just leave and again doing a punch does nothing punching normally doesn't do anything so the first frame you can punch it just punches because you're not going to have that speed anymore uh, the reason is this as to why this happens I'm not entirely sure I suspect it's got to do with uh, your Z sliding speed which is stored and when you go in when you press Z you go into a sliding state so I'm assuming that gets transferred from your sliding speed into your horizontal speed. That's just my guess. I don't really know off the top of my head. Um, but then, and then from there you press a button. So um, let's just say we hold the A button in. Three, four. There we go. And you can do a speed kick. You know, you can do a lot of things. You can do a speed kick, uh, you can uh, ZB slide. Um, but one thing you'll notice is I'm facing the wrong way. You might want to move forward. For example, you might want to jump up onto this platform. I think I've got a little bit too much speed for that. No, it doesn't really want to work that way. Um, I, th I guess you can only uh, speed kick whilst moving backwards. I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head. I've never done it uh, myself. But uh, basically, you can change your direction as well. As you can see now, I'm um, moving forwards. I'm not facing the camera anymore. And the way you do that is just like before, we go one, two, three, four, Z, B, like this. I'm going to go, when I press Z, I'm actually going to change the angle and then do my technique. So if I do that way, I'm going to be facing this way. If I do it this way, I'm going to be facing, well, not quite that way. Um, you can move backwards, you can initially face any direction you want. Um, now as you can see, sometimes you move in the direction you want to go, sometimes you don't. And this is where the whole, this thing is really annoying part comes in, because poles are very difficult to work with. When you enter a pole, I believe, it's very important to take note of your direction, because I, uh, from what I've been told, You've only got a very specific like range that you can operate in where you can continue to move in the direction you want to go in. Otherwise, it does 
other stuff I'm not entirely too sure about. Um, again, I don't know the specifics. I know how to do the trick. I don't know the theory behind it. Uh, this is the kind of time where you'd go to the, you know, tassing discord and say, hey guys, can you help me with this? Uh, and I'm sure if you wanted to follow further up, there'd be plenty of people to help you out. Um, I'll try and find some information put into the description. But that's basically, it's one of those things that you want to make sure you get a good and like uh, entry level to the poll. You want to be facing, I think it's, you want to be facing the direction you want to be moving or you want to be facing away the direction you want to be moving. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, it's a big important fact, I know, uh, but I honestly don't remember. So the next thing other than polls is uh, text boxes. So I'll quickly just set that up and then we'll get right into that. All right, so uh, I'm just here with Cooper at the moment and I'm just going to quickly there we go uh, shoot his text box away hopefully I've got some time so as you can tell straight off uh, you don't have to do anything fancy to keep your speed. Uh, unlike poles where you lose it as soon as you touch the ground. When it comes to text boxes, your speed is, you know, it doesn't change. You can see here that my speed is non-zero. It's still negative 763. Um, and that's not going to change. You know, you can hold whatever direction you want. You can move in any direction. But of course, you might want to, you know, slide kick or speed kick or whatever. Um, now, I don't know about speed kicking, but you can definitely uh, slide kick. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Like, like that. Uh, it's the same as trees. You want to Z, then B. Uh, B on the frame, you regain movement, I believe, or the frame after movement. Pretty much my method is, you know, you, several frames before you start moving, Z, advance, B, advance. If nothing happens, then restart, advance, Z, B, nothing, advance, advance, Z, B, nothing, advance, 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 Z, B, so on and so forth until it works and then you figure it out. Um, it's not too important as to know the specifics. It's very, very simple to figure out. Um... But yeah, from here you can figure out a lot of other things. Uh, you can do all of your techniques just like you would the tree. There are a few other tricks you can do, like with doors and things, um, that are more... Not necessarily different tricks combined to make this trick a little bit more um, advanced, but it kind of is. So yeah, just to recap, pretty much whatever angle you're holding when you do the Z input, so for example... If I do Z and then down, I'm going to be facing down. So if I do a, a slide, oops, just like this, I'm going to be facing that angle. Whereas if I hold up, I'm going to be facing again forwards. Um, that's all there is really to it. That's all the basic speed conservation is. Now, there are other techniques such as... Um, B or J up the stairs to the final Bowser room where you go through the 50 star door, the second last Bowser door, and you end up doing war kicks up. Um, so if I was to quickly pull up a task, I can show you. So this is Super Mario Odyssey 64. It's a ROM hack uh, made by Kays, and this is just a quick task that I made uh, a while ago now. I haven't quite finished it, uh, but basically... It uses the same premise that uh, some other tasks have used in the past, and that's where I go up to the, s the door up the top of these stairs, and I use the speed conservation trick, and I do the following. As you can see, I didn't make it up the stairs because I haven't properly uh, finished this task. But if you go through the inputs... Um, I don't entirely remember. So I have Z seed up. 
on the same frame. I'm gonna go back and rewatch that because I did it too quick. So yeah, I've Z seed up, which and I held down. Uh, sorry, I've held forwards, which holds me forward. It makes me face forward, and then I end up going into the slide animation and moving forward with the massive amounts of speed that I had. I had negative 400-ish. Uh, so that makes me move forward, because I'm holding forward. Z makes me slide forward, which is what makes me clip through the door. And C up uh, allows me to go into, I guess, Mario Cam to uh, allow me to face in that direction and do the punch. Because otherwise what would happen is, because I'm pressing Z, I will end up doing a ZB slide, and I don't want to do that, so I press uh, C up to go into Mario Cam, and I immediately break out of Mario Cam by punching, which you can see here. Then I jump, and I do the rest of the task. So this is what I was talking about before, where I say you can implement other techniques into the speed conservation to pull off more advanced techniques, such as this. Um... This is really the only one that I know personally, uh, but I'm sure there's others out there. But, um, you know, whether it be bouncing off a wall or going through doors like I just did where I want to be facing forward, but I don't want to ZB slide, you can, rather than ZB sliding, you can uh, punch to conserve that speed because punching doesn't make you lose your speed. It allows you to go directly forward without losing too much speed. Then you can jump, you can do speed kicks, you can do whatever you want. I don't know about speed kicks, but you can do other techniques, such as here where I'm jumping and wall kicking. So I'm hoping that is, you know, a very quick on-the-spot tutorial. Several people have asked me to do it. My dogs are going crazy. They also are very excited about this. They can finally tass. <laughs> but yes, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll be happy to answer them. And until next time, see you later.